Growing up, we have all had to babysit children before. There are times they are willing to comply, though they can be obnoxious. However, could you imagine being a correctional officer? Having to watch and maintain order in a prison? Today, we have a very special guest who will talk about her interesting experiences as a former correctional officer from a female to male prison. Hi. Thank you for joining us for today's Person to Person. Today we have a guest who's worked in a prison as a correctional officer. Let's hear what she has to say about her interesting experience. Introducing Leslie Bouchard. Hello. Hi, Leslie. <laughs> So tell me, what are the correctional federal uh, institutes that you've worked at? Um, okay, I've actually worked at two institutions. I worked at FCI Otisville, which is in Otisville, New York. It is a medium male facility. And I worked at FCI Danbury in Danbury, Connecticut. And the interesting thing about Danbury, it's currently the home to Teresa Judice, the new, um, the reality star for the New Jersey Housewives. Um, it's also the former home for the Fuji singer Lauren Hill, and most commonly known for being the uh, the TV series Orange Is the New Black home as well. Okay. Uh People must find it extremely interesting when they find that you're a correctional officer. What are some of the common questions that they ask you? <laughs> um, usually for the first thing they say is that I'm way too nice to be a correctional officer. And that is funny because nobody is nice in prison. Um, the second is obviously, wow, you come from Orange is the New Black, is it really like that? And no, it is, it's not really like that. It, it is Hollywood. It is made for two things, um, money and ratings. <laughs> Have you ever felt more like a babysitter? Uh, than a correctional officer? Let's listen for a minute. Have I ever felt more like a babysitter than a correctional officer? <laughs> this, uh, this question is really funny because the answer is yes. Even though we mostly have people over the age of 21 in the prison system, you can enter at 18. So they can be younger than you, but most of them are older, and you would think that they would have a higher maturity level, and they don't. So it can become extremely frustrating, and it, it just extremely exhausting mentally because you are continually having to remind yourself that they are not up to the same level as you are and you have to conduct yourself as though you are indeed at a daycare center. What are, um, what, um, what are some of the inmates' responsibilities and what are the um, consequences for breaking them? Okay. The, um, the inmates' rights and responsibilities are essentially what we would refer to as job requirements. When they come into the institution, they go through a and and that is where they hear everything that is expected of them and everything that they are to expect of us while they are in federal custody. Um, they are given a list of codes. They are in uh, 100 series, so 100 being uh, the most severe, 400 being the least severe. Uh, the most common is usually a 316. It's being in an unauthorized area without staff escort. And sanctions for that can be monetary fines, um, changing your living quarters, usually um, probably all the way up to, oh, I would say taking away halfway house, which can be severe. Mm. Um. How do you work in an environment where there's a ratio of one officer to 300 prisoners? Let's listen for a minute. So an interesting tidbit about the institutions is you often are one officer to 300 inmates. So you are one person to 600 eyeballs, and that's usually how we refer to it in the prison system. You have 600 eyes on you, and they're watching you all the time. They are waiting for you to make one mistake and the best way to handle that is to be fair, firm, and consistent. You treat everybody the same, you do everything the way that you're supposed to be, and yeah, you will get headache from the inmates, but it makes your job a lot easier. Prison is a scary environment. Was there ever a time you feared for your life? Let's listen for a minute. Wow, was there ever a time I was in fear of my life? 
Um, I've actually never told anybody this, but there was one time I was a new officer still on probation. I had maybe about six months into the institution and I had conducted a shakedown of an inmate's quarters. I found a whole bunch of stuff that she wasn't allowed to be in possession of. I brought it back to the office. She came to the office and she actually did threaten me, telling me that um, I had no idea who she was or what she was capable of and uh, she went around screaming this from the top of her lungs. She actually did get put into isolation for that. What was the hardest part about being a correctional officer? The hardest part is learning the transition between the job and reality. You become very desensitized to things around you, very unsympathetic and empathetic towards people. For example, we're having a very intimate conversation right now. In my mind, I know that you are my best friend and I know that your problems are, are, are real problems and that they should mean something to me. And what happens is, in my mind, I'm transitioning everything that it is that you're saying, but what's gonna come out is, well, you just need to get over it. Just, just mm -hmm. move on. And, and you can't be like that towards people that you really right. care about because this is, it's just not normal. That's not what you do. So transitioning and, and trying to realize, okay, you need to be like this when you're in the outside world because these people are not prisoners. They're not inmates. These are people that have not done something against somebody in the community. And that's, that's the hardest part is having to realize that, okay, you leave the job at the job and you, you leave home at home. Right, right. Um, coming from the Danbury prison, have you ever heard of the new Orange is the New Black? And let's listen for a minute. Very interesting question. Have I ever seen Orange is the New Black? No, I've, um, I've never actually watched the show. I've never read the book. I know that's probably odd, but I have not because I know that a lot of it is Hollywood and I know the people that are in it, so I just choose to personally not watch it. <laughs> We'd like to thank Leslie for uh, today for taking the time to come and share her experience with us. Thank, thank you, you for having me. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed meeting Leslie and thank you for watching.